Here at AGBT, we're with Claritas Genomics with the question, how do you sequence over 100 exomes a day? Patrice, that was a great talk you gave. Thanks very much, Dale. So um, the, the beauty of the AmpliSeq exome is the simplicity and the ability that we have had to automate the, the simple processes that make up the library prep, preparation for sequencing, um, have really made it amenable to a high throughput mechanism with a small dedicated team that uh, supports our program. And uh, 120 exomes a day is sort of like that for them and it goes very smoothly. And you illustrated that with a weekend project. Yes. Well, we've been waiting for the uh, new high Q chemistry, the new chips, the new software. So when it arrived on Friday on the loading dock, they were really anxious. So Saturday morning, they set out to do their uh, exomes. And by the end of the day, they had all their data. Um, they did 150 on Saturday. So That's amazing. And you had all the data back ready to go Monday morning? Monday you... I, had the, uh, I had the slide and we worked yeah. on it a little bit and by Tuesday it was ready. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And what can you tell me about the performance of the high Q chemistry? So we've looked at the high Q chemistry um, against a reference standard which is the NA12878 um, genome in a bottle has done a great job preparing the sort of gold standard sequence data and um, it looks great. Uh, the First of all, when you think about the sequencing metrics, the read length is over 26 nucleotides longer on average. The throughput is well over 17 gigabases a run. 17 gigabases. Yes. Um, the uh, most exciting part is really the mean coverage that you get of the exome. And we've been routinely running three exomes per chip with a goal of getting 50 to 60 x. And in our first um, 150 exomes that we looked at, the average was about 90x That's great. per exome, which really means that you get better coverage. But I think the most important part is with the new chemistry, the fact that there are amplicons that you couldn't see before that now are fully sequenced and really um, expand those 293,000 amplicons to a much higher uh, number that are fully sequenced. Yeah, I noticed that dot plot with interest. So that's yes. plotting all 290,000 amplicons. Yes. And you had version 4.0 versus version 4.4 yes. with high Q, right? Yes. And our CTO is very pleased with that slide. Yes. <laughs> so and it's great. That is great. And then as far as then these were, well, these were exons that were just poorly covered. Correct. Before. Well, and for whatever reason, and I don't understand the chemistry as well as John would, but with the new chemistry and the new library prep, it allows you to really expand the number of amplicons you're sequencing. Yes, and then as far as the better coverage, the greater throughput, really all around for the AmpliSeq exome, yep. it's a win. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And then you also mentioned at the end that if it's two samples or if it's I'll hundreds of thousands yes. samples. We, we have um, the ability to fit customers um, any researcher who needs AmpliSeq exome um, as a service um, rapidly delivered for them um, and we love, you know, we have the ability to do somewhere around 30 to 35,000 um, exomes a year. We're happy to support any researcher. Well, you've heard it here. If you need exomes done quickly and efficiently, consider Claritas Genomics. Thank you, Patrice. You're welcome, Dale. Thank you. Thank you.